Well, hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to move on with another True NAS um, video. And uh, I think what we'll do today is I, I want to create a uh, time machine backup and uh, just a regular network share so that uh, my wife can back up her iMac and she can also have a network share to store photos, files, documents, whatever. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, let's get right into this. Uh, let's create a user that's going to access the uh, time machine. And we'll just put the wife's name there. Okay. And we can just leave this uh, default for now. Okay, so let's create the data set for the time machine. So we will add a data set. And let's just call this uh, time machine. If I could type. Uh, we're going to leave it uh, generic, and let's hit uh, save. And then under the time machine data set, we're actually going to create another data set um, with uh, the purpose of using SMB. So let's click that, and this one we'll just call it uh, Sandy Time Machine. And we need SMB. And I think we don't, yeah, we don't need anything in here. So we'll click Save. Okay, so now we're going to create a share under the Time Machine data set. So let's click Add. And that's going to be... We're going to set no presets, and we're going to set it as a time machine, and we're going to use Apple style character encoding, and we're going to click save. And we're going to restart, apply and restart the SMB service. Okay, so <clears throat> here we have our sort of uh, parent data set, our sub data set, that's the SMB share. Okay, so let's uh, continue on. Okay, so my server has a dual port NIC, the 10 gig NIC. Uh, port zero is being used for my PC. And uh, port one we'll use for the Mac time machine. So let's configure this. And I'm just doing a manual configuration. So we're going to add. Uh, I wasn't able to set the same subnet um, on the second port. So I'm going to actually uh, just do a class A subnet here. So I'll just do a 10 dot 110.28.103 as an example and we'll just do 24-bit mask and then uh, once I connect on the other side this uh, interface will come up so okay let me uh, switch over to the Mac and let's uh, get set up to configure the uh, USB 2.5 GBE NIC on this same subnet, and then we will connect the uh, time machine on the Mac to uh, the new share that we just created. Uh, also, once you do some uh, networking changes, you need to uh, click test, and then you need to save it. If you don't save it, it'll revert after 60 seconds. 
Okay, let's uh, head over to the Mac. Okay, so let's set up the networking. I will go to network. Uh, there's the USB dongle. I've just plugged it into the iMac a few minutes ago. And we're going to uh, set it up uh, manually. So we're going to choose manual. And we gave our server 10.110.28.103. I'm going to set this one up as uh, 10.110.28.104. And we just used a 24-bit mask. There we go. There's our 24-bit mask. And I don't think we need... The router is also the gateway. I don't actually think we need this, but whatever. I'll just put it in. Uh, 0.1. <clears throat> Oops. Dot 28.1. Dot okay. Okay, good. So we have the network set up. Okay, now that we have our USB NIC set up, um, I want to verify if it's actually connecting at 2.5G. Because when you click uh, under Details and Hardware, uh, the speed is just auto select. If I try to force it, uh, it doesn't seem to stick. So I don't know if it's just a glitch or what the story is, but we can actually go to uh, About This Mac, More Info, and we'll go to System Report, and let's check out uh, Ethernet. So here's the built-in NIC. And it's got a maximum link speed of 1 gigabit per second. Here's the USB. And it has a maximum link speed of 2.5. So I'm going to assume that we can run up to this speed. Even though you know, we can't see it uh, when we force it. Okay. So having said that, let's try and connect to the time machine. So that was under general time machine and let's add one. And okay, that's cool. There's the time machine. It's showing up. So let's set this up and let's do the user credentials. Okay, so uh, we don't need to encrypt this. That's fine. And let's click Done. And there we go. So we have a new time machine location, which is on True NAS. And uh, it wasn't particularly difficult to do. I'm just going to let this... Uh, get going here because I want to see, I don't think it's going to show us any particular speed, but I want to have a look once it gets going. So actually while this is connecting, let's see if we can uh, mount this share. Let's do uh, command K. And I was attempting to connect previously, so that's the address we need. And let's do, and okay, look, there's our uh, time machine um, file has been created. Okay, well, it's only been a, uh, just a few minutes, four or five, and it's got 1% done. So I think it's going pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm confused about is where is this time coming from? Because it's... Uh, currently 2.33 in the afternoon. I don't know why this says 7.45 a.m. Uh, I'll have to look into that, but I'm pretty sure the time on my true NAS is correct. That could be where this is coming from.
All right, so there you have it. We have a time machine backup configured and running on my wife's Mac. Uh, eventually, I'm going to probably create another data set um, just to uh, give her an actual, just a just a regular SMB share. Uh, we'll keep this time machine um, segregated all to itself, but uh, maybe she can have another share. She can dump photos or whatever she wants onto that. So I'll do that at a later date. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's another use for uh, true NAS and um, the 2.5 gigabit uh, Ethernet seems to be working pretty good. The 10 gigabit Ethernet on my PC side is still fantastic. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this. Um, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe if you uh, feel that it's warranted. If you have any questions, uh, reach out in the uh, comments. Um, if you happen to know what you're doing and you've seen something completely egregious, uh, give us a comment. Let us know um, what your concern is. And um, I definitely uh, welcome those kind of comments. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.